Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Full Moon Fibers Knitting Podcast. I'm Jessica. I'm Allison. You can find me on Instagram as a o at J Henry Design Co. And I'm at Allison underscore makes, even though I really don't use that account right now. <laughs> so. <laughs> and yeah, she runs Full Moons. I and, basically run Full Moon. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> single handedly. <laughs> single handedly. This is my part time assistant. Jessica. Jessica. Yeah. <laughs> and together we, we are, are at Full Moon Fiber. Equally. Which is mostly just Allison. Mostly just Jessica. <laughs> Allison. Jessica. Um so it's been oh, this is our first podcast back. Yeah, yeah, for twenty twenty one. Um so thank you for joining us today. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Um we've done like seven vlogs. <laughs> yep. Uh, to fill the space. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll be a good episode because we have lots so. to talk about. Oh my goodness. So so much to talk about. We didn't write anything down. No. Of course. You need to... St- so we're going to go I by think, memory. Yeah, prior warning, if you didn't see the time at the bottom of the screen, you might want to settle in. Hopefully. Oh yeah, it's probably going to be in a... Uh, oh geez, at yeah. least in an hour. Yeah, get a get a coffee and settle in. Yeah. Um, Alrighty, so yeah, so it's a new year. My mm-hmm. shoes are squeaking on the stool. Squeaky shoes. Um... And we are, the snow is melted in our area, so that means, and yesterday was the first day of spring. Was it? I don't know. I think it was. Yeah. Um, Today's the 20th. 21st. 21st. Um, so I think it was. I think, I heard people talking about Maybe, it Maybe, I don't know if on it Instagram, was Instagram, so I guess, it, I guess it's true. Preemptive chatter. Yeah. Um, I thought it was like another two or three weeks until <laughs> spring. I always thought spring started later, too. Yeah, I agree. I always thought spring was like May, but then I guess summer is like. June 23rd June, or yeah. At the end of June. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. It's spring. Yeah. And it's supposed to be 15 degrees this afternoon. Mm-hmm. So I'm dressed for 15 degrees, even though in here it's a lot colder. <laughs> so I didn't think about it's that. It's got to be like 18, though. Yeah. So hopefully later we'll get outside. And yeah, it'll mm-hmm. be nice. Got some, got my Converse's on. Yeah, we were going to. rolled up my overalls. Yeah, you're like living, ready for the spring floods. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, one exciting thing was that we had our anniversary, our first mm-hmm. one year shop anniversary on March 2nd of this month. So that was exciting. We did a whole bunch of um, um, different things based around a colorway mm-hmm. of a bag. Yep. Do you have that bag? Do you have your bag? Is it at home? You didn't the purple it. bag? Yeah, you kept one. No, I didn't keep a oh, purple bag. Oh, never mind. So, so we had a, Jessica had a, a purple, black, hot pink, like oh. ga- galaxy um, looking fabric. You can just pull it up on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. So this is what the, oh no, this that's is That's fine, don't, too just hard. don't move it around. Um, that's what the bag looked like. <laughs> <laughs> so then from there, we designed... It was basically Yarn. Jessica. We did a colorway, so that we did a couple different things. We did a 50-50 set, which is two 50-gram um, skeins yep. that we call our 50-50 sets, our lucky 50-50s, and they're, they're something that we launched in February. Yep. And so then we dyed up a specific colorway for that um, in that version. Then we did like a sock set with two minis. We did a, a mini skein set. Is that it? And then we did the bag and a small bag that had gold moons on it. Mm-hmm. And then that was our um, day, and then we had also made it a sale day as a way to say thank you um, for uh, one year and to like celebrate with us a little bit. So yeah, that was very nice. We received so many nice messages yeah. on Instagram, and that was so nice, and um, it was quite cool. Like it actually felt like it was a bit of a celebration for the day. Yeah, we said that it, it kind fun. of felt better. Like it was more fun than a personal birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He did. That was that day was more exciting than my birthday. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and we we got to go to True North that day in Barrie to drop off our um, oh, most yeah. recent wholesale order, mm-hmm. and so we did that like from a distance. So that was kind of nice too because then it was like it was like a bit of our a, like a part of our birthday day, and like, yeah. we like Chloe from True North wished us a happy birthday, and so yeah, it actually like felt like it was like a real day of celebration. Mm-hmm. So that was fun, and. Um, yeah, that was that. That was and, a lot of fun. Um, so we had that. <laughs> um, we <laughs> oh, we also launched Groovy Moon sock tubes, yep. which we will talk about later. 
that was in February, and so we've had one update so far. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, at the end of February, and then now we have um, part of the reason why we're podcasting now is so that we can show um, some of the tubes and um, the yarn that's going to be available for our update next Saturday. In addition to showing like all our projects and to chat and everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we have that to show. Um, we've been busy with wholesale. I'm just remembering everything. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've been busy with wholesale orders. Yeah, we've um, restocked um, Little Red, Little Red Mitten. Mitten with both J. Henry Design Co. bags and Full Moon Fiber yarn. Yeah. Um, we, we sent, sent them this time our Asteroid sock base. Yep. And our Moon Dust Surrey base. Mm -hmm. So if you live in the St. Thomas area or near there, um, and it would be easier for you to order from them, then you can um, check out their, what they have in stock for Surrey if you've ever wanted to try that. Or um, at the Asteroid Sock Base they've had a couple times now, but we sent a few new colors too. So if that's something you want to check out, then they have that. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, and yeah, and you can use both of them for our um, Bog Eater hat. Yeah, the mm -hmm. pattern that we uh, collaborated with Boho Knits on. Yes. Yeah, that's just, I've been wearing that hat. I should have brought it. I've been wearing that hat like the last like three months on walks. Yeah. It's been so nice because it has the double brim mm -hmm. with the Surrey too. And so, and Asteroid's like a really nice thick, like a, it feels thicker sock yarn. It's definitely sock yarn, but it has like, because it's eight ply. It's more ply. like plump. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like, plump. like it's like and four two plies plied together. Yeah. So then when you knit that double with the Surrey and then you also fold it, it's really nice on the ears. So I've been wearing that a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to make another one. Yeah, I want to make one out of um, Slum and Surrey together. Oh, that would be fun. I've said that many times. I feel bad about my feet squeaking on the stool. <laughs> ah, that's okay. Um, and then we sent... Oh, now I'm squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> we sent Slum to uh, Warehouse 2020, who is an mm -hmm. online store that is based out in BC. Mm -hmm. um, and then she... So that's a new stockist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we also sent them... Um, bulky so super a whole box of super bulky um well two boxes of super bulky are on their way to them uh last week so hopefully they should be there by midweek this week yeah and then um yeah so if you're looking for some super bulky because we currently don't have any in stock then yeah check out their website yeah they should be there in like just over a week probably mm -hmm. and and true north, true north we dropped yeah. off True North Lots has, of different stuff at True North. Yeah, they have um, mohair, um, asteroid, orbit slum. fingering. Oh, yeah, they have, they have a, little a little bit of slub, slub. but they restock on slub. And then 50-50 um, sets. Yep. And a mini. ton of mini skeins. Yes, yeah. on our new sock space, S solar, solar sock. sock, which is the same as the 50-50 sets. And the sock tubes. And the sock tubes, yes. So, yeah, so they were so cute. We put together, what was it, 15 colors? Yeah, 15 colors. Yeah, of tonals and speckled um, colorways. So they have a nice, really nice selection there. And yeah. yeah, we've been busy with, yeah, we've been basically busy getting both wholesale done and then at the same time, like scheduling in trying to get stuff for, done for the shop as well. And so now we have um, a little bit of wholesale coming up and then we but we will have a some more time to get stuff ready for the shop especially after like this update is done mm -hmm. um we basically have everything ready for the update we just haven't done all the pictures <laughs> so we, or we the have, listings or the listings so we have uh, like the, uh, just under a week to get that all done yeah the computer week and then um and then we're going to be working on new stuff newest yeah. stuffish um <laughs> for <laughs> for april yeah yeah we got some plans for april yeah we we want to do like more i mean we always do like some bright color stuff mm. but we want to do more like um brights um yep leading into spring and summer yeah and so you'll see that on a, a couple of our like sock tubes um for that are that we're going to show later and some worsted that we dyed and then yeah we want to have more like sock sets and 50 50 sets and all that probably for april slash may um yeah for some like bright and happy yarns yeah 
Uh, another big thing for April is that we are planning on launching our first round of our advent calendar pre-orders. Mm. So we've been talking about it and um, because it's our first year, there won't be very many like um, extras. No, we are doing extras. I know. So then, so I we have know. planned them. Okay. Not that we can tell you. Yeah. So but. we've we have some extras and stuff planned to mm-hmm. put into them, and we're really excited to um, to create them, and because dyeing mini skeins is like the funnest thing. Yeah, I love fun. I love dyeing minis. Mm-hmm. I love twisting minis. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we have a new label for our minis. Yep. Which only True North has right now. Mm-hmm. And it's like a, a miniature version of our big label. It's so cute. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do, do we share our theme? Or do we wait and share our theme on Instagram? We could share it now. Oh, boo. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do, um, Jessica came up with a theme. F- finding a theme is quite hard. <laughs> so, but we came up with one and we're excited about it because it's quite broad in a way yeah so it gives us a lot of room for interpretation Mm -hmm. and so would you like to say it since you came up with the idea um okay so we're the theme is going to be winter walk Mm -hmm. since allison is always going for walks in the winter and that there is so much inspiration to draw from uh nature and stuff and then as well as like like the sky and then also like the stuff you might do after your walk like baked goods Mm -hmm. or um drinks and stuff that you consume to warm up so um yeah or like reading a book yeah or like the animals that you see yeah or reading a book or like cozying up with um your favorite blanket like yeah or yeah like anything so it's kind of like a nice broad subject that yeah yeah so it'll kind of go with like lots of outdoor themes and then also kind of rope in um, maybe some of our like traditions that we do with Mm -hmm. our family for like celebrating Christmas Um, and then that'll be like kind of incorporated into the names of each colorway or like um, like it also allows us to pull inspiration from our own pictures Mm -hmm. so if we need like us if we sometimes it's like we really like using inspiration pictures and so it's fun to be able to pull it from your own um, collection as well and then you know and then other days like you just get inspired by looking at at the dyes and yeah. being like I wonder what these three would look like yeah. and so then um, yeah so then that like allows us to do it that way too so we're gonna have a whole big launch for it in April yeah I think it'll be fun it's gonna be really cool I I really I'm actually like really looking forward to like when you wrap it <laughs> like you do each just individual it, mini it together yeah. yeah and then like you add in the extras and you mm-hmm. close close the box yeah and say goodbye to the minis and yeah so I think that'll be really fun mm-hmm. and so yeah we're gonna do a um I think two rounds right of pre-orders yeah I think so and so the first round will go in April we'll put all the info on Instagram and maybe if we podcast again before then um, so that you'll know and then we'll figure out the next round probably in May I think but this is my um, spice blend hmm, cowl. yes spice blend cowl so uh, we had made kits for these with 12 DK minis mm-hmm. so um, this is by Lindsay Fowler Fowler very good thank you of Larkspur Knits <laughs> She used to be Lost in Bond, and now um, her design company is named Larkspur. So just so you know. So yes, oh goodness, the lighting. But um, so th- this is as far as I got. I had just started with the yellow up here, but I had gotten through quite a few charts. I only have three minis that haven't been wound. Um, so that shows how pretty much how close I am to being done. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. It's really quick uh, charts, and then you get to change your colors and you can play around with your color placement and um, or you can do it with just two colors so you would just need two skeins of DK and so then you can go back and forth between the two colors that's a really nice look as well um, get two colors that have um, like high, high, higher contrast between each other so yeah I've been having a lot of fun with it it's nice it's <laughs> I wish I had it done because it would be nice for <laughs> going on walks right now. But it's like a nice, it's made like a really nice thick fabric, especially because of your floats and it's DK. Yep, something about contrast, I was saying. Yeah, your contrast looks good. Yes, the contrast looks good in some sections and then some are a little bit closer together, but I really like how that went. 
so anyways that is what is fun about this cowl is choosing your um, color sequence as well and then you just kind of write it into um, the pattern comes with each of the charts so then you can kind of just write in like okay so this one is this color and this one's this color for this time and yeah so it's been a lot of fun and really easy easy charts small pretty small floats you only have to catch your floats uh, in a couple of the, the patterns or in a couple of the charts um, yeah and it's been nice it's it was a really nice I was really really going on it for a little while you were and then I mean you this momentum. this is the story of my life is yeah. when I get to basically it's 75 percent done then I just leave it it's suddenly super important to cast on another project mm -hmm. <laughs> and then never finish this so I hope to still finish it and it will be something that I can work on in like the spring and summer because it is so tiny that it's not it's not like it's actually like a blanket so it's easy it would still be easy to hold on to and knit yeah, and then definitely. I can have it done for next fall so this is in um, a J. Hendry mini drawstring um, these were for the oh no these were for the anniversary mm -hmm. um little red mitten has both the mini drawstring size and the regular drawstring size so um yeah if you want to if you're interested and they have lots of other bags so if you're interested you should head over there and check out what they have mm -hmm. yeah they've got a good selection yeah so this is um our little our sock set that i dyed for the anniversary so this is what it looks like <gasps> Um, that was the full set. Uh, it was a full skein of solar sock plus two minis. So you got the natural mini and a dark um, purple, purple mini. mini. And then um, these are still available. Yes, we and have a couple left. That's what it looks like in the cake. I'm sorry. I'm Jessica. The <laughs> the now you try. <laughs> the, we're filming on a laptop today where we normally film on the iPad and the iPad doesn't flip whereas this is flipped so yeah yeah like, like i'm over there i always sit on the left side of the room but i'm on the right side of the ipad of the laptop screen it's very so, trippy yeah so i thought it would be fun to um i haven't even seen you working on this add this little white strip in stripe in and um yeah i like the way it's working out and when are you gonna add in the purple the purple i think i'm gonna do this all the way through the heel and then the purple is going to be the toe you know what you should do and then on the next sock it's going to be a purple stripe with a white toe mm. could you do um before the toe do a little white stripe oh i might do that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah so then um i also uh got these they're i'm using these um addy rocket squares i really like them they're uh, lift them lift Lift them higher. Lift them higher. And this way. You okay. Go opposite. Yeah. Opposite. Okay. So I've been using these Addy Rocket Turbo needles. I have them in for the this pair of socks, and then I have them at another project, and I get them from the Little Red Mitten, and I really like them. I like how sharp the tips are. It's really light um, needle. They're super slippery, and then the cord is nice and flexible to magic loop on. But then they have the little divots. Yeah, these little grips. You can't even see it can't even feel them and then it's a square needle not a circular needle mm -hmm. so I, I really enjoy knitting with them yeah yeah the, apparently they're supposed to be the next thing for fatigue right yeah um, easier to hold on to yeah I really uh, would like to get an interchangeable set mm -hmm. um, I like like I like them that much so yeah so that's that project that's such a nice little project. I didn't even know that was a project. I swear to God, you've seen them. I haven't. I haven't seen them. I we all kept the two of us and our mom. We all kept um, yeah one, one of thing each. each of all the yarn we dyed for the anniversary. Except we didn't for get project bulky. bags, but <laughs> we got the yarn, and so you could still get one of these. I can make you one of these. Oh, I'm out of the. I'm out oh, you're of, out of the big stuff. I'm out of the purple. But. Darn. Okay, yeah. Um. So yeah, we all kept. A mini set, a 50-50 set, and the sock set. Because we figured, I mean, you only have a first anniversary once. <laughs> exactly. So we, we kept them, and then, so now Jessica has that casted on, and then Jessica cranked that same set, just the main skein, as a tube mm -hmm. for our mom. So she's going to do afterthought heels and toes and cuffs yep. for a pair of socks with the two minis. I have 
not done anything, anything yet? No. With any of my yarn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> but I have, I, I don't even have any ideas. Well, Maybe I'll make like a morning walk hat with the minis Ooh. and then hold them double. That'd yeah, be nice. That'd be interesting. With a skein of mohair. Okay, okay. Okay, what's your next project? Okay, so I have this in my wee little J. Hendry Design Co. bag. Mini drawstring. Right? Mm -hmm. Mini drawstring. Mm -hmm. So this was a pair of socks that I was working on until I then got distracted. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> that but, laugh at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm... <laughs> Um, I had started this because I wanted to make a pair of socks with one of um, the 50-50 sets that we uh, launched in February. So um, this is one of our sets. No. See, it's hard. Oh, towards yourself. But you have to go whatever. <laughs> so this is uh, one of our sets that we did, and um, it's out of um, – we paired – I feel like – Make a little umbrella for it. Like that, maybe? Or hold it back further. Oh. So, mm. uh, so this is um, Gone Paddling yep. and Sunbeam. <laughs> and uh, I like this pairing because it actually, actually, like, because we named this Gone Paddling because it reminds us of kayaking. And then, I mean, just Sunbeam. <laughs> just It just sounds so good together as, like, a kayaking tree, uh, duo. Mm -hmm. Trio. <laughs> duo. So that's that. So then I started a pair of socks. So the idea with the 50-50 sets, one of the ideas is that you can do like a fun mismatched pair of socks between the two uh, cakes. Mm -hmm. So I started out with Gone Paddling on the cuff, and then I went into Sunbeam. I, apologies. The lighting is, and the focus, who knows? Not the greatest. <laughs> so um, We'll but figure it out. We'll figure it out, definitely. Yeah. So this is my sock so far, and I'm trying... Um, but the whole point of this is that it is a two by two. Um, that's your heel. So it's basically a tube sock. Yeah. And then you. So you don't have to do like a heel flap and gusset, and um, and obviously it's not an afterthought heel. So it's just um, a ribbing for half of your sock for so long. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give away a lot of it um, because it is a paid for pattern. It's not very expensive, and she does do. In the beginning is an actual like pattern of I think kind of like a color sequence and a way you can do it. Or then she just puts it at the at the back of the pattern. Is just if you want to do a vanilla sock, then you just uh, then she's like just shortened and simplified the instructions for you. So that's what I'm working from. And um, yeah, so I'm trying this out. I have a little bit longer to go, and then I just go into my foot. So I'm trying it out because. Um, I hate doing heels, <laughs> so I it's fun. I don't mind it. And then this plus, is fun. plus you love nine inch circulars, so yes. so it allows and, me to stay on my circles the whole time. Yeah, whereas like yeah, with a heel you have to either switch to a couple of deviants or I know some people can do I think an entire heel on a pair of nine inch circulars. I feel like I would see how in theory you could do it, but I don't think you could. I would. Be I able don't to think do it. I would be able to handle it. Mm -mm. So yeah, this has been fun. Um, but then I got distracted by something else. I'll show you later. So I will eventually come back to these socks. But I did do um, a one by one cuff on sixty four stitches on a two point two five uh, millimeter chow gu circular needle, and then I just do the leg for literally as long as I feel like. It usually always ends up about that long. Mm -hmm. And then I went into the heel. So then the next the next sock will be in the reverse. This will be the main, and then this will be my cuff and toe. <clears throat> so it'll be a nice, um, fun, mismatched pair of socks. Yeah. So we have a few different 50-50 uh, sets in the shop right now, different colorways paired together, and then we will have more um, next month. Yeah. So yeah, so this was a fun project. Mm -hmm. And it's fun getting to play with the two different um, yarns. And if I did do a normal heel flap and gusset, he, um, heel flap and gusset, then I would have Still probably done the heel changed. Machine. I probably would have changed the color again on the heel. Yeah, and mm -hmm. done gone paddling. Mm -hmm. But yes, so that is that is that. Okay. This is a neglected project, but I thought I would still show you. This bag currently has a um, 
sock tube whip. So this is out and about and then it's paired with peony. So it's an out and about groovy moon sock tube. Do you want me to grab a tube? And then a or do you peony, have a tube? 50 gram. I have the rest of the tube. Okay. And then I have the rest of the, I'm in the middle of a row, rest of the tube in here that I am, so I've done, I've taken one sock off of it and then I still have um, this much tube <laughs> left. So um, I'm working on my next cuff and this is also, I'm trying to make a YouTube tutorial for how to put in afterthought um, heels and toes and then as well as like how to pick up the stitches for your cuff so that you can just unwind the waist turn. Um, so this is what I've been working on the yeah. videos with. Because this is what we mean when we said Groovy Moon Sock <laughs> Tubes. This was the product we came out with. And uh, so this is what Jessica means by the waist yarn. So that's from cranking. So then that's to start and stop each tube. Mm -hmm. So this is what you would, um, you would pick up the stitches and then you pull this out and then it leaves you with the fresh sock tube. Mm. And so this is our out and about colorway and um, we reinterpreted it onto a sock tube. Yeah. And then obviously it's a little bit longer because it would have had this much more of the tube on it. And so, yeah, that's what we so mean. So you can basically get, so if um, I do this like this and then hold it there, I still have like, one like it's basically two pairs of socks yeah i can pretty much get like four socks out of this um i mean my feet are pretty short small they're not small they're short so like the i don't require a lot of the sock tube and then i don't make a long leg so if you did like shorties you could get full length socks yeah you could so probably yeah. get um one full length pair of socks depending on um, how long you like your leg and how long your foot is. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you could probably do a shorty pair of socks. So it does require like some kind of planning, planning, not like, you know, complete planning in the beginning, but then like to, yeah, to try and maximize your tube, um, then you can do quite a lot with it. Yeah. And if you have like, you have enough tube left to make two socks, but maybe it might be too short in the foot is you can just make, um, knit for a couple of inches of just straight knitting before you start your toe oh yeah and then, and then you it's can, kind of scrappy mm -hmm, and then you can make your the foot of your sock longer yes so each tube comes with um so you the the, mm, the groovy moon sock tube is the tube and it comes with a <laughs> a 50 gram the glare um, a 50 gram mini mini and this is in peony mm -hmm. so it's half a skein of a full skein, skein of yarn mm -hmm. on her solar sock base so it's 182 yards i believe yeah for 50 grams 11 grams to do heels toes and cuffs on one pair of socks mm. so it should um hopefully get you four socks but it will definitely get you a pair yes so yeah and then from there you can pull from stash mm -hmm. another mini or something for your other pair yep um, but it's definitely a lot to get you started and possibly to finish everything mm-hmm and yeah so that's what we mean by groovy moon sock tubes yeah and there'll be more on that later because i also have another sock tube project to talk about oh lovely and i have a sock tube project in my kind of fo pile mm. to talk about okay so my next project is the it's gonna oh. blow out is the um painted pebbles shawl by patty of a forcey of the forcey knit girls mm -hmm. So I am using um, luminescent and opal. So opal is my slub yarn, and then um, luminescent is the single ply. Um, and we made kits for this yep. pattern because we were um, fortunate enough to be like included as the yarn for this pattern. So. Um, yeah, we made kits, and then we're going to have some more kits hitting the shop on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. And this kit is still available. We um, used our solar sock and the moon rock slub to yeah. make the kits. So, so you need one skein of each. 
Mm -hmm. But this pattern would also be really great if you don't have any slub and you want to do from stash, then two different um, skeins of sock or fingering weight would be great too for this pattern. Definitely. Excuse me, because it is just a lot of um, different striping sequences basically. And so the, the slub is fun because it adds a lot of, um, like it adds an extra texture to your shawl. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have slub or you're unable to get slub, then it would be really fun. Um, it would be really nice, easy knit with just two skeins of fingering weight as well. Yeah, definitely. And we do have, um, Patty generously donated us a code for the pattern. So whenever we have kits available, um, we include a free Ravelry download code for um, for the pattern. Yeah. So that's really, really nice of her as well. So it's a um, asymmetric shawl and then you start in one corner and then knit to the, sorry for the paper rustling. So it's an asymmetric shawl. You start in one corner and then knit to the next corner. So it's, sorry. If you watched the Forest City Knit Girls, you would have seen this already. Yeah, definitely. But that's what it looks like. Yeah, laid out. Uh, uh, yeah. So if you have, if you haven't watched the Forest City Knit Girls podcast, mm -hmm. I would encourage you to. You probably do. Um, but they're from London, Ontario, and they're three ladies, and um, they all knit a lot. They do. They get they do. a lot of stuff. They're done. very good knitters mm -hmm. and crocheters, and so they always have lots to show on their podcast. And they all have finished samples of um, that shawl, and they've worn it in the last um, couple of episodes. Couple of episodes, yeah. yeah. So you you can definitely see it there, and you can see how they style it and the different colors they chose, and um, yeah. So that's that. I don't have mine. Mine's at home. You didn't bring yours as a whip? No, nope, I did a mad dash trying to <laughs> grab everything, and, and I, you forgot about that one. And I did not grab that one. <laughs> so I will show that on the next episode. Um, but there is a picture of mine up on our Instagram as well. Okay. And then, um, yeah, but mine is with um, Starfish, which is this color, but yeah. a little bit darker. Is it, and then is it this? And then is this the pink you're looking there for on Slub? So it's a very, like, peachy, pinky. Um, kind of dusty. Dus dusty. Dusty rose. Rose shawl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm very pretty and then jessica's got the neon really fun one i am excited that to, I love. the colors make me so happy yeah um when i'm wearing that shawl so. the color the colors might not have come across very well on the screen but it looks really good in person <laughs> yeah we should take a picture of it and post it to the yeah, instagram because we, we haven't don't done have that yet picture. yeah yeah maybe you should take a picture of it <sighs> yeah so then <laughs> so that's that oh okay so i guess i'll show my next one okay hmm. oh okay Wait, where'd the piece? Okay, okay. So, so as I have said previously on this podcast, I am trying to become a crocheter. <sighs> and I, um, so I have been doing, was I working on anything before this? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. This is yet again another example of 75% completion. But anyways. Um, so this is a shawl. Uh, what a is the ounce is going on in that bag? Well, that's not a thing I was going to make. Because <laughs> <laughs> then there's also this. <laughs> I don't know why that's it. Oh, is this? Oh, because I was also carrying my test knit socks in here. So that's the oh. other one. So. Oh, okay, yeah. So I came across this pattern for this cowl. Probably, I think he released it. It says fall, winter 2020. So I think he did release it. Um, this fall. Obviously in the fall. <laughs> So, <laughs> it's by Vincent Williams, who is Vesuvius Crafts mm -hmm. on Instagram. I'll oh, put his um, yeah information there. So you need to. Oh, I guess that's You're good. sorry. I guess that's not information. Yeah. Sorry about that. So that's uh, oh uh, there we go. So uh, he's wearing it here, and it, I just loved it because it's um, like a really tight, like a, a close fit cowl and it's crocheted and it also looked extremely simple <laughs> so um, I thought it would be really good practice so it is a paid-for pattern um, but it is like like a good pattern and it was nice to be able to support him I also have um, ooh, he it's has a knitted a, cowl he has a really good um, and it's like little triangles on it it's oh, really pretty with worsted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, I feel like I we're about to go to his Ravelry him. page. I'm going to Instagram. Uh, I will he get there faster. Also has 
Um, They're having a phone I'm race. I'm going to win. <laughs> Aha. Aha. Oh, I can't, I can't okay. spell. It's there it is. <laughs> so it's that. That's hard. You probably can't see it at all. But it is called... Okay. Chiaroscuro. Is that how you say that word? Let's see. Chiaro... Chiaroscuro. Chiaroscuro. I'll put it on the um, or, screen. Yeah, because it... Chiaro. Chiaro? I'm pretty sure it's Chiaro. Chiaroscuro cowl. Um, but it's really fun because it has... Oh, maybe you can see that one a little bit. But it's got really cool color work, and I'm pretty sure this is worsted as well. But I have this pattern from him as well. So this is um, a knitted cowl pattern. And then he came out with, it was basically very similar, like close in time. Do you want to see what I want to crochet from? Him? Oh. Is uh, yeah. stuck in it. Aren't those nice? Yeah. I, do you have that pattern? No, I haven't bought it yet. But okay, I, I don't have that pattern. It's worsted. Worsted. Yeah. Lovely. I think I would get a nice, uh, well, he used Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. Mm. So, yeah, maybe, like, I that would be nice because it wouldn't that stretch. With, like, it wouldn't stretch. It wouldn't stretch. And maybe would the stitch definition be pretty good because I think so. I mean, the the color work looks nice and crisp. Yeah. So, anyways. Oh. So yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, anyways, this is the Hooked on You cowl by Vincent Williams. And so, I... I bought it as soon as he showed the picture, and then I was going to cast on, and then I was going to do it with our other um, worsted base, um, Wormhole Worsted, which is 100% um, non-superwash um, per Peruvian Highland wool. Um, but then I never got around to dyeing it, and then I was dyeing our new worsted base. <laughs> We always have new babies. Uh, um, yeah. Named Moonwalk Worsted, and it's 100% superwash merino. And I was dyeing it up for wholesale, and then I had, oh, oh no. no. I think I swept. Oh. Reach further. Oh, we need a better podcast <laughs> setup where, like, maybe we this can is sit, ridiculous. In, sit in chairs <laughs> and not on stools. This is I like, am on the verge of quitting. I feel like I'm not trained for sitting on a stool. So then here is my cowl, nice. and the lighting is not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is Tell Me About It on our... Moonwalk Worsted. Moonwalk Worsted. Moonwalk Worsted, yes, yep. goodness. And so this is my cowl so far, and um, I'm, I'm almost done. Look look at the size of this. And I just left it. I it's bet almost you, done. How I much do you think what, that like is? two more rounds? It's like 15 grams. I technically, I think, have six rounds left to go. But, um, yes, this is what I have so far. And, I mean, just the beauty of crochet alone is that you can just pull on this and then try it on. And you don't have to do anything with your needles or anything. I just love crochet like that. Yeah. Crochet because of that. So mine, okay, so now I have had, because I am a beginner crocheter, I am not sure how you learn your tension well there would be a gauge swatch oh right so i don't you, gauge swatch yeah so, so you also don't measure your gauge when you're knitting oh right then okay <laughs> <laughs> so because the pattern calls for five and a half and i started on a five and a half mm -hmm. this is a five yeah and then you went you unraveled and i guess it. i went down you unraveled it you pulled yeah it okay yeah yeah and then I went down to a five because I was thinking maybe my – should have just checked the gauge. <laughs> Whatever. So um, I went down to a five. And then I cast on again. And I think it's – I think it's – I think it's better. I think it looks good. I think it's fine. I don't, I think I don't know. Once you get it underneath, like <laughs> – And you're like this. Like – Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you have a hood up. Well, and then I could also – I'll have, like, five more rows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So hopefully, I think it's okay. I think it's good. I don't know. So I think it's great. I'm happy with it. If mm. there's it, there's not that it's the fault of the pattern. It's the fault of me because I one don't gauge swatch and two maybe I just well I don't know what the other problem would be. But <laughs> gauge swatch would gauge be the main swatch. problem. Yeah. So yeah, but it's been a lot of fun and you just go around and around and around and um, what's this stitch called? D 
double crochet. <laughs> I think it's a double crochet. Yep, DC, it's double crochet. Brilliant. So I have that almost done. I'm very excited about it. And um, yes. The other thing I had thought of too is that I could have taken a few stitches off mm -hmm. of the of the stitch count, and then that would have also helped to make it um, smaller. Yep. But I am um, very happy with it, and um, it's been really good practice, just going around and around, and uh, I'm I really like it's really fun with because I had originally going to do was going to do it with a tonal like um, he had done as, as his sample I wanted to do a tonal color to really show off the stitches but then I'm actually been having a lot of fun doing a um, speckled colorway and watching how the yarn um, sits and the speckles and everything so that's been a lot of fun and there's a lot a lot of color in Kale Me About It so um, it yeah it's a good color I have found to be doing this with and so then we are all, we've also dyed up, we'll show some a little bit later, a lot of um, worsted on this base, our moonwalk worsted, excuse me. And so we're gonna have those just in the shop, like individually for sale, but that's a good, this is a good pattern if you wanted to do something with, with a, a skein, hmm, a single skein of worsted weight, or if you have it in your stash, is um, this cowl pattern. And I think yeah. it'd be a good, um, like gift knit or gift gift crochet or oh, gift yeah. make for like as you are getting closer um mm -hmm. right now we're as far as we possibly can be from the holiday season but as you get close to the holiday season it, it would be a quick i think a quick would make to make yeah as like a last minute gift or um yeah yeah like if you had two or even one depending on how fast of a crocheter you are two like solid evenings um, you could probably have it done. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like I only have a few more rows, and I, I know I know if I sat down tonight that I'd be able to finish it. <laughs> so, it yeah, it's really simple. No, and yeah, so um, I um, I'm gonna take a picture of this soon and show it with on on Instagram of the different speckles, and then also we have dyed some fun like spring. Um, bright like neons mm -hmm. and like bright colors um tonal on worsted as well if you wanted to do a single color for a cowl like this or if you wanted to do a pair of mittens or hats or color work that's all available too so that was a really fun pattern and i've been enjoying it and now i'm looking forward to whatever my next crochet pattern will be i just found a granny square pullover pattern wait like it just got published okay not the one that because i really like I, yeah the, the one so before the last episode yeah. that june was wearing on the four city night girls i have I to find was out obsessed where that pattern's from yes yeah i have to yeah rewatch and find it but yeah i think that would I, like, be so can't much about it. it looks so good yeah and then um instead of crocheting her ribbing she just picked up stitches and knit knit her collar oh so well, that would be nice mm -hmm. so she didn't okay really have to um, you know, like if you're not comfortable with learning that ribbing stitch, then you can just knit it. So. Oh, cool. I, I think that's my next step. So I'm going from a cowl to a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already know how to do the granny. Yeah. Like blanket stitch. So. Yeah. Now you're just like, well, now you're just learning how to increase it, basically to mm, increase this, to make yeah. a sweater. Because yeah. you have to learn how to do like to. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm hmm. Well, or if I do the granny squares. Yeah, then you have to math, like sew them all together. Yeah, and then the piecing, and then I'm, there must be something that happens around the shoulders. You have to figure that part out as well. Yep. Okay, Are you, do you have another project? I have lots of projects. Oh, okay, great. A, oh, me too. I still have I two have projects two, in here. I have two projects. And then I have another project. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, okay. So I have my uh, bag of Hershey and Wheat. Like standard yeah, knitting standard. fuel. Because I was at Peppa's house, so I needed a snack. Um, okay, so I can I can talk about this, right? So if you want, yeah. This is another um, Groovy Moon tube. This is actually one of the first like test tubes, so it um, not available. Not available. <laughs> this colorway is not available, um, and it is also on our with our asteroid sock because we um, yeah we tested it first on that base. 
So I've just been coming up with like other ideas that you could use with the tubes instead of socks. Mm. So my... This has been done before, mittens. From the tube. Yes. Yeah. So um, I just have... um, So I knit myself a nice long cuff and then I have made one thumb. Aww. So cute. And then I figure I'll cut the tube around the tip of my pinky and then uh, sort of do my decreases so it fits the top of my hand better. Fun. But, yeah. I think the thumb actually could have been a little bit longer. This will be a fun part. Yeah. I don't know why. That's, that'll be, that's my section for my men. I chose the most boring side <laughs> to start on. <laughs> but... Because like and well, then, that's like a very like outdoorsy mountainous range <coughs> colorway, and then you get like really like wildflowerish over here. I think this works really well. Yeah. So then, as you can see too, so like if I cut it here, then that's only like six inches of the tube that I used. So if you have like a weird leftover, then like yeah, you can make a bunch of gift make mittens. A pair of mittens. So, um. Yeah, I'm going to figure this out, and then I think I'm going to make a YouTube tutorial on how to do this, too. Yeah. And then basically just using, like, your own hand as reference. So my gift mitten will start around here. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah. No, it's so cool. I love the bright green, too. Well, thanks. It's also dyed on asteroid base. Yeah. That would be a nice pair of, did you just say spring mittens? I never said spring. Or like fall, because it's like a nice thin, like your transitional mittens. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean... Well, depending on where you live, if you don't need to go any warmer than that, then it's a nice um, pair of mittens the whole time you need mittens. Yes, and for those of us who don't like wearing mittens, I think a lightweight mitten Mm -hmm. might make it better. Yeah. Which is me. That's Jessica. Never wear mittens. I like mittens. My hands get very cold. (laughs) Mittens and coats, too hard to wear. Okay, so the next thing that I have <gasps> is a test knit that I am working on. Um, we are collaborating with it for it with um, Kelly of Boho Knits again, Kelly McClure. The, and the, the Kelly McClure. The Kelly McClure. <laughs> and uh, it's using our Slub in Surrey, and it's called the Star Fluff Shawl. So this is what it looks like so far. So the sections with the slub is like a linen stitch, so it makes it sort of like very flat, which mm-hmm. is nice. And then you have these nice um, lace sections in the Surrey. Very nice. Um, and then I was getting a little bit confused, so I got a row counter by Toll and Print from uh, True North, so that I can keep track very of my nice. rows. But um, yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, for everything involving the shawl <laughs> and like it's only gonna get more fun the further yeah we get yeah or I get because she included um, this like very cool fringe section at oh wow fringe fringe section try your yes. best <laughs> I can't do it fringe section uh, towards the end and then these big chunky tassels. I yeah. can't point to anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if so, you go on Instagram, yeah, there's a few pictures. posts back on um, Kelly's page at Boho Knits. Um, yeah, she did a really cool um, photo shoot, like uh, out on like an old barn. I think it I is. think that barn is on her property. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so she we sent her two different color combos so that was the first one that was peony surrey and imposter's imposter yeah was it peony yeah 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 it wasn't yeah. starfish no okay peony and imposter's imposter on slub and then we also sent her another one which we won't say what it is because then she she can reveal it and um show the colors mm-hmm. but i think she's working on that one now and so there is a test test knit going on right now and um until about the middle of april or so and then um we will keep you updated on when the pattern will be released and we're also going to do a whole bunch of kits so it's nice um again it's only a two skein shawl so you just need a skein of surrey 
and a skein of slub. But again, if you didn't have yeah. those specific bases in your stash, I'm sure it would probably be okay with mohair mm-hmm. and um, just fingering. Because I think that that linen stitch would look really good even in just a sock yarn. Oh, um, yeah. Because then you would, it would be really a uh, nice stif- stitch definition. Whereas yeah, because you would still get the texture then. You would get mm-hmm. the texture just because of the stitch pattern, whereas now you get the texture because of the stitch pattern and because of the slub. Yeah. So that would still work really well. Or, yeah, just two fingering weights if you didn't want to, if you don't like um, surrey or mohair, then that would be fine too. Yeah. And, um, oh, and then the other thing I was going to say is that it's very, um, okay, we're going to go back to it. So it's very, like, the sections change up really quickly. So Mm. you You don't um, get bored. You don't get bored. And then she uh, raised a really cool point. Where I was like, Kelly, you're a master. Um, she was like, don't cut your yarn. You can just knit the first stitch of every row. I saw that because right. I know that you can carry it. I know you can carry I it. But I have never thought about knitting the yeah, first so stitch. She, I've just been, like you can see here in the Surrey section. No. <laughs> you can see here in the Surrey section that I just knit the two yarns together on the first stitch and then drop that yarn again and just continue knitting on with the surrey. That's an acquisition. Oh, I have acquisitions too. I don't think what I is brought... that? Oh, you haven't seen it. <gasps> yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, yes I have. you have. It's the term. Never mind. Oh, these are some of my acquisitions. <laughs> <laughs> is this your your PSA? Yeah. Hi. So maybe I'll just say I've never been a fan of lint chocolate. The lint balls. Um, but then I tried the cappuccino flavor. It's good. Okay. Uh, Would highly recommend. Highly recommend it. Do I show this first? Okay, I'll show this first. Okay. So this is a test knit that I am doing for um, Haley, and her Instagram name is Rundle Knitting. She's um, relatively local. She's in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And um, she's a designer. And um, we follow her. Um, and she put out a test knit call for these uh, socks, and they're so cute, and they're called um, Happy as a Clam, and maybe that's better. I think it looks, there, that's good. And so you can see that it's just these tiny little stitch puffs of um, with your contrast color, and so, um, so I asked to be a test knitter and I got to be one so I put together my little combo this is again starfish I have a weird thing with starfish lately so my main color is starfish and I'm actually using it on our orbit MCN base because that's what we had it dyed on at the time and I was too excited to get started versus dyed on another base so um it so this is going to be a, a very soft pair of socks and so then the contrast is a mini of as hot as it gets on our solar sock base. So I'm mixing um, bases, which normally I don't do. But it's working out really well. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. They're it's both... just a weird idea that Allison has in her head. So <laughs> They're both three-ply. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I've done my heel flap and gusset, and I just finished the decreases, like, right here. Right. Here. Yeah. And so now I'm on the foot, and so the pattern continues down um, all the way to the toe. So it's just on the top of your foot, and then you do your toe. So there's a whole bunch of different options. Obviously, you can, like, contrast your heel, toe, and cuff and use it with your contrast color. Um, But I decided to do it all one color and then just do the little puffs, the little clam clam stitches, star stitches, as the um, contrast. So, like, really let them, I think, pop. Kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So I have until the end of March to get these done. I think I have to have one sock done. So I think I will have one sock, um, which is, is which is quite impressive for me. <laughs> so yeah, so I will have one sock done because I, I normally don't knit socks very fast. But I've been quite committed to these. And um, yeah, they've been a lot of fun. 
So that's my happy as a clam um, sock. And then the pattern will be released, I think, at the beginning of April. This is, so um, for the first two months, it, it will be a paid for pattern, but for the first two months, all proceeds will be donated to Sistering in Toronto. And um, they are a multi-service agency for at-risk, socially isolated women and trans people in Toronto who are homeless or precariously housed. So that's a really good cause as well. So if you are interested in the pattern, um, I mean, it's also good to support the designer, but if you also want, if you also buy it within the first two months, then the proceeds will go towards sistering as well. And um, we're gonna put together, I think we're gonna put together some kits. Okay. Right? Sure. And then we can um, maybe help with the proceeds. Yeah, definitely we can. With the kits. Yeah. So uh, we'll work out all those details and um, have the kits available at some point in April probably. And then, yeah, then we can help contribute. Yeah. So that would be really nice. And it's a really great pattern. And um, it's been so fun to uh, be a part of the test group. We have a little, like, chat. I haven't participated much, but I've been reading mm -hmm. it all um, on Instagram, our little chat with all the um, people that are also test knitting. So that's been really cool. And um, I mean, some people are so fast. They already had like, a, I was like this much in and they were already showing a completed sock. I was like, what? But like, and so they all look beautiful. Lots of different color combinations. Mm -hmm. So I think every sock looks like completely different. So that's cool. Like no one um, like subconsciously or whatever kind of went towards the same colors. Everyone went um, in different directions. Uh, so that was really cool. I would have recreated Haley's first sample if I could have. It was like with a natural... Um, as the main color and then she had like a multicolored like kind of rainbowy oh, uh, yarn fun. and that was the star stitches and that's what drew me in was that first picture I really loved um, the colors she chose for that so yeah so that that's been a lot of fun it's been really cool I, I we're, we're participating in more test knits now like we helped test knit um, the painted pebbles and we didn't finish <laughs> in time but we, like, obviously there was no mistakes pre-knitted yeah we yeah. pre we pre-knitted and um and so that was very nice of patty to let us participate in the mm -hmm. like pre-knit of the pattern and um that now we're helping to t uh, jessica's helping to test knit um for kelly and i hope to cast on my version of the shawl at some point as well because i have my colors picked out and now i'm testing for Haley. And yeah, so it's really cool. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. It's like a whole nother part of like the industry that we haven't really been yeah, a part of. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So that's my socks. I have one done. Awesome. Got one mostly done. It's great. <laughs> okay. So I have been, oh. um, like, so I really want to cast on a new sweater, but I was like, no, you gotta finish. You're something. so close. Yeah, yeah. And like this, this project, you're like I think more than fifty percent done. Oh, definitely. I think now I'm more than fifty percent done because I still have, have to do to the um, body ribbing and the shawl, oh, okay. the button band and stuff around the outside. But anyway, so I have been working on my um, Radvent cardigan. So this is my second arm. Yeah, my second arm. I think it's. My left arm? Oh. I'm not sure. But Does it um matter? so I've done the arm and I have started cast on the wow. rest of the stitches for the body. So there's a hole here that I have to darn <laughs> <laughs> from the from adding the one cast on to my other stitches. But um yeah, so this is um I don't know what I was gonna say, but well, it's a car yarn. Yeah, so it's my, it's my advent calendar that I got last year, for, um, and it's a car yarn. It's advent calendar, and uh, it was very beautiful. And I'm holding it um, double with a skein of natural mohair, um, and then this is like a one of a kind yarn that we had right. dyed. So um, we had two skeins of it, so I took them and. So yeah, so this is one side, so this is one arm. And then um, it's freakishly warm. Oh, this is nice. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, yarn down. Yeah. Uh, and then this is my other arm. So 
God, I hope they're the same size. <laughs> I think they are. Ah. I don't know. This one <laughs> that one looks longer. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, so that's right. Okay. So then this will be my oh gosh. Oh no. This I put this this is my left arm and this is my right arm. So oh. um here's my right arm. So this is days like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve and thirteen are at the back. And then you hold um, all these stitches live because you're going to graft Ooh. the two parts together. It's like when you grafted, when I had to graft the the advent shawl that I made you from oh, also by Ambo O'Brien. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you, you knit the two triangles and then you, what is so the you, triangle? <laughs> this way and this way. And then you grafted up the, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think I have to Kitchener stitch. No, I didn't Kitchener stitch. It was something else. <laughs> was something it was else. like a three needle bind off. Oh, okay. Well, even if it's Kitchener stitch, I've become a professional Kitchener she stitcher. Is a professional Kitchener stitcher. Um, and because of the sock knitting machine, we have that to thank. And now I can actually catch her stitch. So that's something new. But mm -hmm. yeah, so this is my, and then I'm, so yeah, I only have, so now this is day, wait, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. So then this is day 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I only have 24 colors in my advent counter. Wait, so are you going to be able to finish, or do you have to pull in a couple extra? So I think, like, these guys at the beginning. Oh, you have extra I yarn. have lots left over, so I'm just going to use one of right. those colors in the back. Right. But, yeah, so I'm super excited. And then I have to cast on the button band yep. and cast on the ribbing around the bottom. But, yeah. So. Do I need to knit one of these? I, okay, so speaking of that, I have, like, Two more now. Oh, yeah. That I yeah. know I want to knit. True. So I have a, a project that I want to rip apart and then use the yarn to make another one. Mm -hmm. And then I also thought it would be so cool. So what I want to do is do, um, like, because it would work, is a skein for the sleeve. Yep. And then my size, I would need two skeins for the body. Yeah. And then a, a skein for the other sleeve. Mm -hmm. But then all of them be different different colors but oh. the, the two for the body would be the same okay so you're so it's kind of color blocked yeah it's kind of color blocked so i want to do that twice and i thought it would be really cool to do one in the shawl pattern that i'm gonna rip apart mm -hmm. and then the other one be in slub oh gosh that would be nice and then like it would be so nice that would be very nice <laughs> oh i oh i don't know and then but then like my ribbing and stuff i would use um, non slub yarn, like a sock oh, yarn. Okay. So that, that, um, and still with mohair? It'd be defined. Or surrey. Or surrey. Yeah. Nice. That'd be very nice. But I don't know. So I'm going to get this one done and see if I actually like, like, wearing it. Mm -hmm. Um, I do really like this construction of having to do the sleeves first because they're nice. They stay so nice and small. Like, you know, like this isn't any bigger than a hat, like, up until here to, like, haul around with you to go from place to place. Yeah, like I like the transportability of the project. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to, oh, and then my other thing I was going to say is that Sosu Knits has a lot of sideways construction sweaters as well. Oh, yeah. So if anybody else is interested um, in maybe like, she just released a new one that is both a cardigan and a pullover in the same pattern. Mm. And it has um, ribbing, this like, ribbing that you knit this way but then um yeah anyways then you get the stitch diff anyway we'll have to say it <laughs> but um yeah and then she has a couple other ones like her palette cleanser sweater and stuff like that they're all knit from sleeve to sleeve so cool and then this is by Ambo O'Brien yeah this is by Ambo O'Brien it's the um um Radvent cardigan part of the Radvent series that I guess she put out last year yep and then um yeah, so I'd be curious to see if she put in another sweater this year for Advent. Oh. It's in a J. Henry Design Co. Um, 
Patrick zipper bag. Lovely. So yeah, it's um, quilted all over. And of course there's thread on it because everything in my life has thread on it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then it's got a heavy, heavy canvas on the inside. Nice. So. Very nice. Well, thank you. Okay. Okay, last one. Mm -hmm. I have also other works in progress at home um, that I didn't bring because I haven't put any time into them, such as my cozy classic Raglan, which is you the, were going the, strong. I know. <laughs> the you separated for the sleeves and everything. Oh yeah, the body's basically done. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to go the length. Actually, I think I've gone past it. The length of the pattern because it's supposed to be cropped. Mm -hmm. Sort of. You should just put the t-shirt on that, no. you're, wearing, <laughs> that you're wearing today against it. <laughs> and you'll oh, know. it's way longer than that <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, that's good then. then. Yeah, like I think the body was supposed to be six and a half inches under the sleeves um, before you start the ribbing for my size, and I think I'm past seven inches now. So I don't know how long I'm going to go, but um, I wasn't sure I wanted it to, cr to be cropped, so maybe this will just be kind of cropped now. And so basically I'm, I'm almost ready to go onto the ribbing for the body. Okay. And then do the sleeves. That's exciting. Yeah, so I am still um, working on it because it is such a nice like. Maybe once once you get some of these. Um, yeah, once you get some of these uh, testing projects. Yes. Done, so once I complete my commitment responsibilities. I have so many questions for this next project, like and I am what? so excited because um, it's a lot of firsts for you. I know. And I'm so excited <laughs> to knit this project once the pattern is released. I know. Okay, so I saw this. It's the coolest. I know. Um, and um, I saw it on their Instagram, and then I was like, <gasps> and then I um, also watched their stories, and then I saw that there was a test, the test knit call was up, and I was like, do I? And I then love I, their And then I was story. like, screw it. <laughs> so then I just applied. I was like, I'm not even going to get in, but I'm going to apply. Yeah. And then I got accepted. So uh, this is... The Color Quadrant Crop by James Watts. Oops, there we go. Oh, there, I'll put their, <laughs> I'll put their information. Their, I'm trying to find the bottom of the screen. Their information, whatever. Their information on the bottom of the screen and um, for Instagram and everything. But um, so this is, yeah, the Color Quadrant. So you're supposed to use, as you can see, it's four colors in worsted weight. And it's suggested to do in um, like a, like a tonal, slash solid color so that you can really do like the, co the color blocking so it's meant to be a crop and there's two um, options of like kind of the t-shirt or you can make it into a sleeveless um, like tank top so I went with the t-shirt but I think I would potentially do another one and it would be the tank top so they include a, a coloring page on the back of the pattern so that you can color in your um, how you want your shirt to look and play with your colors to like see uh, how you like your color placement before you get started mm -hmm. and so I ended up using on like the third page there's also a color placement guide <laughs> so I colored I made this my coloring page because it had the letters printed on it <laughs> well that's so, a good idea yeah so then I knew um, so that's my coloring page done badly out of highlighters but uh, so you'll see that this is not orange. This is meant to be gold and yellow. <laughs> but then I'm also doing um, our colorway cherry bomb, high vis, and luminescent. <laughs> so whatever. It's only for me to make sense. But this is actually as long so, as you know. Yes, as long as I know, and it's so handy with the with the letters written on it. It's like a good visual. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so then I wrote, so like, I can... So you only use your I, color A once. Oh, yeah. and then it does a one icorn. And then the icorn. So oh, then the okay. fun thing about the, as you can see on the, in the front, on the front page here. So then you use your, so, so there's four, four icorn edges, your two sleeves, your neckline, and the hemline. And so then you, you get to use your four colors as each one of those, um, edges so that's cool too you get to kind of play around like switch your colors around again so then I have that all worked out as well and yeah and then there's also a coloring page if you were to do just the um, tank top as well so 
Yes, so then the fun part about this is that it's worsted, so it knits up quickly, and since it's cropped, excuse me, and also it's um, intarsia. So yeah, like which in, you've like kind never... of like a beginner in Tarja, but it's in Tarja. You've never done before. Which I've never done before. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do it, then I would avoid it, then would think about it again, then yeah, would so avoid then it again. Your other plus, or like first, is that this is a flat knitted garment. Oh, that true. That you have to seam together. Yes, it has to be seamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. fun too. I wanted to show my project bag quickly. This is by Jessica of J. Hinder Design Co. Oh, thank you. And it has um, balloon dogs on it. So cute. So I have my four colors. It was so exciting because it also just felt like the timing was perfect because I had just finished dyeing a whole bunch of tonals on our worsted base, like I had mentioned earlier when I was talking about the cowl pattern. And so then I, um, I applied. We were at our um, papa's for our Friday night, like distanced dinner slash TV watching and um, and so I just like applied <laughs> at, at that night because that's when I saw it and then I found out on Sunday that I got it so then I was just sitting there like running through all the colors in my head of like this four this four this four and then so then I came up with I thought I had my color combination and then I came up with another one <laughs> so I'm doing um, this is my golden yellow that's what I meant when I said the golden yellow then this is um, cherry bomb which is a new colorway. These are two new colorways for us recently. Mm -hmm. And then these are two, two regular favorites. Here we go. Um, high Viz, woof, which is really glowing. As bright as the but sun. It's, it's a neon orange, that's why it's blowing out. And then Luminescent, which would also blow out because it's a neon yellow. So then you, put, you place the four of them together and that's my color combo. So cute. Like, uh, I love it. So. You can wear it in the, well, it doesn't matter who designates certain colors for seasons, but you can wear it in the summer, you can wear it in the fall. You can wear it whenever you want. Exactly. And so I have cast it on, and this is as far as I am. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's my middle. So I've got my two. I, this is, no, no, no. <laughs> this is the front of my um, sweater. Mm-hmm. So, or my crop top. Short so, shirt. Shirt and t-shirt. And so I was originally going to do a size smaller than this, but then when I cast it on and I was like holding it against my stomach, I was like, I don't know if this is going to fit. So then I went up a size. Again, gauge watch. So I think now I am doing the large size. So I went up a size because I wanted to, at the end of the day, like be happy with um, the fit. So... Now I think it still will be tight, but it won't be like, I felt I, I thought it was gonna be like skin tight. So um, I think I'm gonna be more um, pleased with this fit and it'll be um, cropped, which is like something I'm trying out <laughs> <laughs> this year. I don't know, I'm just such a weirdo, but um, never worn a crop t-shirt before in my life. You're wearing, I'm wearing one, right one now. today under my overalls. And um, yeah, so who knows? I think you could get like, a romper or something and yeah. wear it over or just some It's what leggings. the cool kids are doing. Yep. I want to be a cool kid. Was where, never a cool kid. <laughs> where are you even going that anyone would see you? Yeah, exactly. So so I I just think it's fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, And you look great. You're going to look great. Thank you. And I think you're going to do, are you going to do, yours is going to be cropped when you make yours. Yeah, probably. Though, so, yeah, so this is what I have so far. And then um, soon... This color will end, and I think I go into the yellow, something like that. And then that'll be the other half of the front of the tank. So yeah, so it's yes, cool that it's- correct. Ah, thank you. It's all like pieced and um, yeah, there's a little bit of intention. I'm so excited. So when do you have to have this done for? Sorry this is due April 19th. Okay. So we're allowed to show our progress. Um, so, so maybe that's around like mine. the end of April, it will be released. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the release date would be then. Yeah. yeah, I guess if there's like any major um, changes to be made to the pattern or whatever, then yeah. So we can keep you posted if we know um, when that is. I'm sure if you follow James Watts, then you would find out um, from them as well. But um, yeah, so this is a really fun, cool pattern coming up. And I think it'd be really nice too if you held two strands of fingering and then one strand of mohair. Okay, well that's sort of my idea, but not the mohair. And then and then you could make like a really cozy little shirt. 
I want to do. Um, another option would be, yeah, is two fingering worsted? No, it's DK. Oh. That's why I is it three fingering hair. worsted? Well, you could do three fingered. That might, yeah, that would do it. Or maybe I do a winter one and use a little hair. But yeah, and then and then another thing you could do is like, like you could like, sorry, fade your sections by what yeah. you're marling together. Oh well, you no, can like fade I wanna in do, and out in each section. I want to do little scraps. Sorry, and, no, it's okay. <laughs> I keep cutting you off. I want to do a marled but color blocked. Be so fancy version. So mm-hmm. it would still be like it would be marled, but it would be very obvious colors so that you would still see the color blocking. I think that would be what I would do and like do that from stash. Mm-hmm. So maybe that would be like my winter version because I would hold it with mohair or surrey. But yeah, so um, oh, I see wearing this under my overalls or I thought wearing it when it's like not too hot yet with like a pair of linen um, like capris. Yeah. And... Um, or pants. And, and then, you can always start out your day wearing it. And then if yeah. you take it off and have like a tank top on underneath or something, then. Yeah. Or might be nice like in the evening um, mm-hmm. to put on when it's a little chilly. My next thing is like a bunch of like kind of like sort of cheating projects. But not really because I worked really hard to learn this skill. So, yeah. Um, I have been enjoying cranking socks on our sock machine. So we have an Erlbacher Gerhardt. Um, currently it has a 64 stitch cylinder on it. Um, we got it back in September. The summer? It Late became, summer? September. Because it got delivered the day after we moved Papa oh, into right. his new house. So um, yeah, so I uh, learned how to crank tubes and then I uh, learned how to turn heels and um do toes and cuff and cuffs well the cuffs so it's just a um yeah let's look at how i haven't woven in any of my ends (laughs) um neither have i so it's just a no (laughs) um it's just a turned uh cuff yeah so you just crank so many um rows or rounds as you want and then you stop take the weights off and then you pick up those stitches put them on all of your hooks and then uh, crank it and it knits all those stitches together with the ones below and then you keep on going when you take your sock off of the sock machine it looks like such a mangled mess yeah until you start to sort it out but um, yeah and so then I just did a simple turned heel which is basically like a short row heel and then I have a short row toe. And then you have to, um, so basically you, you knit, like you crank this part, and then you start your short row, which brings you up and over, and then you end here. And then you have to Kitchener stitch, whoop, you have to Kitchener stitch further in <laughs> from um, all the way across all of your stitches. So that's why I've gotten good at Kitchener stitch, because you have to, Kitchener stitch 64 stitches together mm-hmm. um, at once, which is a lot. So this was my first completed pair, and this is on Leo and Roxy's 8020, sorry, sock pace. Um, and I don't remember the colorway name, but it's something about a zombie. Yeah. Um, With their Halloween colorway? It's, yeah, it's one of their Halloween colorways. So I don't remember, but it is by Leo and Roxy. And it comes out around Halloween. So, yeah. So that's pair number one. Um, and then I cranked a sample for our 50-50 sets. So it just as like another idea of what to do with them. So I did a opposite legs and feet. Um, and this is our out and about and peony combo. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Very nice. Um, so I found this, so I did 60 rows for my foot, and I find that to be a little bit long, so, um, the pair I have, this sock I did 55, and they fit better. So this is our, um, anniversary colorway, first voyage, 50-50 sock set, so we did this, um, black with the white spots, and then this pink with the 
um, purple, black, purple, black, and pink speckles. Oh, it's so fun. I like that one. So then this one, I mysteriously dropped a stitch, so I still have to go back in and pick it up and fix it. But um, other than that, it was a fun pair of socks to crank. Mm -hmm. And I did them five rounds, five rows shorter this time, and then they fit better in the foot. Um, and that's on our uh, solar sock base um, in the Lucky 5050 sock set. And then this is the first pair of um, Groovy Moon uh, sock tube socks. Yeah. So uh, more unwoven ends. <laughs> and so this is kind of what Orange You're Curious is based off of. Um, it's a little bit darker now, but it still works. And we pair it with a um, Blue 50. Yeah. Um, Orange You're Curious isn't coming back this time, but it was available the first time. And, yeah, so I am super excited for these as well. And then I still have half a tube left that I have to nice. turn into more socks. So, yeah. You're going to have – you have so many socks to wear now. I know. They all need kind of, like, ends woven in and stuff. But then, um, yeah, I'm super pumped for um, winter. Yeah, you don't <laughs> need to buy any socks. You have, you have lots. Yeah, and I want to start making shorties, too, because I don't really like um, – well, in the summertime, I like wearing shorter socks. Yeah. And in the wintertime, I wear shorter socks. But, um, yeah, and I'm, I've been finding that the um, 64 uh, stitch cylinder is a little too skinny for my foot. Like, it works for the sock tubes because before you start your heel decreases, you can make this area, like, deeper for yourself by adding, by just knitting straight rows before you start decreasing and so that's what I've been doing on my afterthought heels but on the um, sock machine it's a lot shallower so it's a little bit tight across the top of my foot so I think I'm going to switch it over the next time I knit myself or crank myself a pair of socks I'm going to switch over to the 72 stitch cylinder mm -hmm. so that's yeah a good idea. and then they'll be more comfortable nice well are you going to talk about your last FO? Oh, all right. Yeah. So I don't know if I showed this on the vlog, but I was going to. It was part of the projects that I was completing. And so my uh, my Cozy House socks was one of those, and this scarf. And then I was supposed to complete a pair of socks um, with yarn from the Blue Brick. And I did not. But I will. <laughs> so this is my um, Granny Stripe whoa it's so long and scarf ends are not woven in and they probably never will be <laughs> so they're um so there's just a clear right and wrong side of this scarf so uh i just pulled i pulled this um in the fall i was trying to make it in time for halloween and i just did um minis from our now like non-existent single minis um collection that we're gonna <laughs> it's restock. gonna beef back up yeah yeah we're gonna restock single minis soon um but i pulled all the ones that i thought were kind of halloweeny and then i just uh crocheted a i wanted another um granny stripe project so i did uh just a scarf so and then i added um a fringe afterwards so i got the fringe all added so with fancy. the scraps and yeah i just um used I just used my scraps and I cut them, I just cut one, the length I thought was nice, and then I measured the rest of them like that when I cut and against that original one. So they're all a little bit like uneven, so I could like hang it and then go across and like really trim it, but. Well, another um, thing you can do too is put it on the cutting mat and then put oh, the, yes. put the um, ruler over top of it and then just cut it with the rotary knife. Yeah, with but the rotary I, cutter. I don't mind, like, it's kind of, it's pretty you much. You can't really notice. It's, yeah, it's just, like, scrappy. Yeah. So then I used um, four strands at a time and folded it um, double and then used a crochet hook and pulled it through uh, my stitches on the side and then um, just did a, what is this, where you loop I it in. I don't know, is that a slip knot? It's like I a, don't know. It's just a weird, like, you, you literally just, like, pull the butt and then you slide the legs through it and then you just yeah pull it do it tight yeah so yeah so that's my scarf 
And so now this is ready for, I mean, I could wear this now on the chilly days. I should wear this on, jeez, I don't know why I haven't been wearing this on a walk. I've been looking for a scarf and this thing's right in front of me. So I could wear this um, now and then it'll be nice in the fall mm -hmm. um, for colors, color wise. And then um, maybe if we get to go to a show one day, I thought that this would be a nice um, show yeah, project showstopper. Yeah, because it's it, even if I wore it, you know, during the summer shows because it is crocheted, like it has like a bit of a breeze, um, mm -hmm. breathable quality to it. This would be really cool in a uh, infinity cowl that you could fold in half, looking at you, if you were to remake a, such a thing. Yeah, ca uh, cast it on in the round, and then yes. or a crochet in the round. Yeah, and then make it. Um, like I'm doing right now. Yeah, and then but then you could also make it extra long and make it an infinity. I'm doing the motion of f folding it and flipping it over. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Okay, maybe I would do that. Yeah. Then you'd have to. You would have. I'd have to pick a new you'd color have to sequence. Weave in your ends. Because the wrong side and the right side it doesn't matter. Right. But we there's ways crochet getting, them in as you, you go. You can just crochet them double and then cut yeah. the little tails off. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah. Okay, so now we have... After, well, after, we have to do our first thing. What's our first thing? Oh, goodness. Okay, so... Um, we have so much to show you. Yeah. We were lucky enough to be sent a package from Leo and Roxy Yarn Co. a few weeks ago, and then this is our first opportunity to talk about it. But they from our friends, Jolyn and Gary. Yes, hi Jolyn and Gary. Um, so yeah, super exciting when it showed up. Yeah, we didn't know it was coming. No, I had placed an order for other things, and then my order came inside of this box. Yeah, this is there because I mean, sure, I'm sure you all know by now. Yes, they did the Leo and Roxy Basics line, mm -hmm. which is a line that they got done with their mill. So it's meant to be a, a good price point line in addition to their indie dye yarn. Yeah. So um, they've put it out in a bunch of different um, solids. You wouldn't call it tonals. It yeah, they have, they have 12 solids. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the idea is you can use it by yourself or by itself for a like an affordable project or you can use it in um, pair it together with a indie dyed yarn. Um, they have a lot of kits on their uh, Instagram page of um, ideas that they have for different patterns. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the colors, it's a good variety of colors to start off with. Oh yeah. I mean, there's 12 of them. And so it's a bit of a rainbow, which is always um, helpful mm -hmm. because then you have something from every color family. And it's available as full-size skeins and 20 gram minis, yeah. which like, um, it, like you don't see a lot. No, and especially the minis. Like minis are a pretty like indie dyer, yeah, exclusive thing. Yep. Um, there's a few larger companies who do them, but um, yeah, it's an affordable. Um, they're affordable minis, and you can just like pick them up, like at the cash register. <laughs> if you're where in all the store, the, where all the good things are. Yeah. yeah. If you're in your because there's a lot of LYXs throughout Canada that are carrying it. So if you're in your, um, and then like just add it to your purchase so that you have a contrast for a project, whether it be like cuffs or you want to like add some stripes into a hat or something or mm -hmm. the uh, like bind off on the outside of a shawl or something like that. So yeah, do you want to? Yeah, let's show the box. Okay, so um, it came in this box and then... Um, yeah, we've kind of. We've already torn. We've already ruffled it. through it. Yeah. Right. Sticker. Sticker. So, we had to do some negotiating. There was. It was like a solid hour, of just passing around. Do we remember our color? Well, uh, because they're on the. No, yours are sitting on the. Top. Mine are sitting on the top, and then yours are on the bottom. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me take yours, and then we'll get rid of yeah. this box. So we were sent six. Large skeins and six minis. Yes. And um, so then we, uh, so in total, it completes the, the, the color collection. And so uh, then from there, we got to like divide it up and um, bicker. Fight over it. <laughs> and, and then we have our, we've, we've pretty much settled. I don't know. I, I might still be open to negotiation. <laughs> well, but, I mean, oh. 
Uh, yeah. So you have that. So then could I have the mini? What? Could I have that mini? No. Since you have the full? Oh, well then what mini are you going to give me? I'm willing to give you the green. The green. Maybe. <laughs> so anyways, we got um, full size skein. So the full size, like obviously the full size, and it's a 75... 25 base, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 75 superwash merino, 25% nylon. They called it their basics, 75 25 sock. And so it's really good yardage. It's 465 yards for 100 grams or 425 meters. So it's, um, this is one of the colors. This is raspberry ripple. So it's a really nice color. I like this. Mm -hmm. And it's so soft. It's very soft. It's very soft. I think it would be a lend to a very drapey. Um, yarn as well. Yeah, for an, it would be a really nice shawl yarn. It would be mm -hmm. good sock yarn and really nice shawl yarn. Yeah, this would be good too for like um, uh, the like Stephen West is like solid colored shawls. Mm -hmm. So like either the M Cal from like the year before or last year, the star, this is the half star one. Yeah, how it's kind of solid, and then like the um, bubbles and brioche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they would look good for that too. And because I'm like, pretty sure you can get away for the bubbles and brio, bubbles and brioche, bubbles and brioche. No bubbles, bubbles and brioche. Um, I think you might be able to get away with eight mini skeins. So like, you use you would need two full size skeins to do your contrast colors where the brioche is, and then eight mini skeins for the um, color bubble section. Ah. Um, why do we know that much? Because I have been scheming in the background to be able to cast that on yeah it just hasn't happened yet <laughs> yeah. i've been carrying my two main colors with me in one of my project bags just waiting for the moment um should we just show all the colors yeah how do you want to do this you go through yours maybe oh okay yeah well here's my three big so these are the three big that i ended up with as of right now and so this is not quite white Oops. this is very white that's glowing but <laughs> the lights um, and then this one I really liked, and I think it has something to do with, um, oh, Pebble. Yeah, Pebble, and then Raspberry Ripple. And then my three minis that I kept were Basic Black, um, Garden Green, and oh, more mustard. This one, as soon as I got it, I was not willing to part with it. <laughs> and I was not willing to part with Pebble. I really like, I really like these two together too. Yeah. So those are my three colors or six colors and I don't know what I'm going to do with them but I kind of think they're going to be um a mix of a pair of socks and then maybe a like marled hat is what I'm thinking mm -hmm. um so I got cherry cobbler mm. oh my god so if you hold up I don't know, these two together you can kind of see the difference that one is more orange and then one is more red or like well, one pink. is more red and one is more pink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one is more red and one is more pink. I don't know. I don't know my colors. And then, um, and then somehow I wound it wound up with both blues. I know. I don't know why. Um, this one's specific point, which it's is like navy. yeah, a, a kind of a royal, dark royal. And then this one is queen's navy. So if you hold these two up, you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. Um. And then my minis are my favorite color, which is Cajun Spice. <gasps> I wanted this one. And then um, Majestic. Mm -hmm. Nice dark purple. And Classic Gray. Nice. So, yeah. I had these plans for making some really cool stripey socks. Yep. And um, I think I'm going to crank them on the sock machine so yeah cool they're just so soft. they're very soft yeah. but we were so so excited and so um thankful that we were sent um a sample box that was really cool mm -hmm. um and we really appreciate that it was a really nice surprise so that was very cool so we have to come up with yeah projects like we mm -hmm. said can't wait to make with them yeah so thank you so much jolene and carrie yes for thank you very including much including us as part of your launch yeah and that's um, very cool yeah it's a beautiful yarn line and yeah yeah and there are plans I, it yeah. said that 
for other weights and also heathered. Yeah. Um, a heathered line as well. So that's really cool. I am really excited for I'm that. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And then like a worsted or DK weight mm -hmm. would be fun as well. So, um, yeah, so then that's also exciting to come whenever it's ready to go. Yeah. And um, to see the different colors. And... Do you have any other? Oh, we still have more. Or do you want to do your? That's the same as this. Okay, yeah. So then, um, I liked this color so much that no. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so I liked this color so much that I went on the Little Red Mitten website and I um got myself a full size skein of Cajun Spice, and then as well I got myself a full size skein of pebble because um <laughs> i just I thought it's a good it. neutral <laughs> and because allison kept it so yeah so my plan is to make some really funky socks mm -hmm. so now i can have the mini no <laughs> <laughs> and then whoa now <laughs> and then i also got the um full color mini set so I thought that these would just be good to have to um, for when I am cranking socks. If I want to yeah. switch up a color or add a contrast to a skein of yarn I already have, then mm -hmm. um, I have them available. Very nice. So, yeah. It looks like that. So, you can either get the full set, and then they have the rainbow set available, and then they also have what they're calling like the neutral set available. So, yeah, and for a great price. Mm -hmm. And if you had, like, that would be good if you were doing a, like, if you had a a fingering weight crochet, like, granny square project or knitted blanket in mind, and you got this for your colors, and then you selected, like, is it basic black? I think. I don't have... Oh, yeah, basic black, yeah. Basic black is, like, your main color between each square. Like, that would look really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or if you did, like, a, a flower garden. Um, sure. A crochet, <laughs> like, a crochet flower block. That's, yep. like, either a square or a hexagon. And you use all of these for your middle flower and then use the black or uh, neutral color as the outside. Yeah. That would look really good. Um, my okay. next acquisition is this. <laughs> I signed up for, I was going to take a break from the subs, the pom-pom subscription. But then these um, last two issues. But then have this been killer. last issue was announced and um, we love quilting. <laughs> so we, and like sewing and everything. And then now that it's been, you know, inspired into the knitting industry, um, it was really cool. I really liked all the different um, patterns that they were showing in here. And so, um, Yep, had to sign up again. <laughs> I do not regret it. A beautiful issue. So I'm pretty sure I would make every single one in here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you don't. I know. Do that. I I could also. This could be my um, crochet. Is it, what is this classified as? Like a. It's like a cardigan. Like a cardigan? Yeah. Yeah. Or like a. Uh... Oh yeah, and then you can do a crop version, obviously. Mm -hmm. So like this is really beautiful. Like a jacket, maybe. And, um, oh, and then this one. I really like this one. And She's not going to show it to you, though. Yeah, no, I know. So there's this. I first saw, I first saw it in the two-color um, option, or maybe three colors. Is that in Tarja, or is it knit? Oh, it's knit. It's knit sideways. Yeah, that might be three colors. It is three darker. colors. Yeah. Yep. Or you can do it in the just in a one color as well. Um, so I think that's really beautiful. I do like this. I really like that look. colored version. And then, um, of course, this this one has been making the rounds um, by Amalia. That's the one I want to do. Um, who is Kindred Red. And it looks like um, um, quilt blocks. And so it's really, really cool, too. I like this one. And it's so there's this one by Amalia or Kindred Red. And um, it's really beautiful. It's hard to see in the picture, but I'm you may have seen it come come across um, Instagram, but it's um, like a beautiful cardigan and then it's, I think it's pieced and then you use scrap yarns. 
But I'm pretty sure you do it as you knit it. I think, yeah, as you knit it. Yeah. But it makes it look like it's been stitched. Yeah, yeah. And so it looks, and she did it with um, a whole bunch of um, neon colors. And so it looks really beautiful. That would be cool if you did that and then the same effect, but then you kind of made it look like a tied quilt. Like, yeah. you know, the, the quilts where you take the yarn and instead of quilting it, you just tie you just a knot tie it. and leave it? Yep. That would be cute too. So yes, um, anyways, this is a really fun um, issue. So if you're able to um, get it, I would re recommend it. Um, sometimes you can find it if you're in Canada. Sometimes you can find like issues that are either like that issue or one issue behind um, at chapter slash indigo so in the magazine aisle so sometimes you can find it there or at your local yarn store or at your if local yarn store if, they, store if they carry it yes of and course. some indie dyers carry them yes as well um, um i think akara yarns akara. and little red mitten has it yep um someone else i just saw carries it too i can't remember yeah but yeah, they're more they're becoming more and more like easily accessible, especially in yeah, Canada. Yeah. Um, with different yarn stores, sometimes at chapters, sometimes with indie dyers selling them. So yeah, so it's um it's a a bit more accessible of a issue, mm -hmm. uh, magazine or whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I got that, and do you have any more? I yes, I do. Oh, okay. I got the um, Ready Set Raglan book that I picked up from. You guessed it, the little red mitten. <laughs> so, um, I Ooh. love it so much. I want this book. I haven't had a chance to like sit down and like really read it. Um, that one. I want to make that one, that yellow one. Yeah, I want to make all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's kind of cool because there's a few sweaters here that are slightly different. But are similar, but they all use the same yarn weight. Oh. So, um, like this one, and oh, your pointing's not oh, doing no. very well. <laughs> so, like, note this hand, note this hand, this one, and then this one over here. Yeah, they're both worsted. So, like, oh. you could choose to either if you wanted to do stockinette or if you wanted to do the rib look. Cool. And then they give you tons of options yeah, i feel like it's gonna be a really good resource yeah they give you tons of options of like you could use this yarn this yarn or use this yarn mm -hmm. um and then the color blocking is really fun and um yeah <gasps> so this is this yarn is our friend akara yarns <gasps> cool. she's, she's in the magazine that's so so cool. that's a marled one, I think. We're mm, I'm I was looking at it yesterday. That one's nice too. Oh, and then here's the same sweaters again on different body types. So beautiful. That's what they look like again. And then yeah, love this one too. Mm -hmm. That one's a marl of um, mohair and pink and white. Oh yeah, that's pretty color. I like that. Yeah, and then this one's actually boucle. Oh, cool. I've been studying the Ravelry listings. Um, so, yeah. So, the one that I really like, I keep kind of bouncing between the plain stockinette one and this one, but I think this one's the one I'm going to go with is the, um, oh, I, think really? it's, I think it's the Isla sweater, and it's a two by two rib and oh gosh <laughs> two by two rib this way and it's in um worsted weight so i think i'm oh that would go fast yeah and i'm gonna use our new moonwalk worsted i already have the colors dyed up and oh are you gonna give away information with that page oh yeah yeah <laughs> but you can do it it's kind Here of like striped so yeah. you can kind of just see it whoops the three colors so um, that's kind of the look that I want to go for. Very cool. Also looking forward to Jacqueline Seaslack's book that's coming out. Embody. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what. Thank you. Embody. Because um, that's going to be really good. And yeah. So lots of great things like that have come out and to continue to look forward to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I placed an order with um, Kelly of 
boho knits she the uh, designer and then there we go she also has a etsy shop nope she has an etsy shop where she sells like stitch markers and um like little containers for your stitch markers so sorry for the wrinkling so what drew me in there and it's um a few weeks ago is that she has these coolest um little macaron cases and then you open them and um you put your stitch markers inside mm -hmm. or whatever you want so um and then they just i had it lined up before then they just snap back together so i got that guy and it's her like um i'm not sure what colorway she calls it but it's like a peachy peachy coral um and then she has these rose gold um i really like these ones because they're smaller i like having my stitch marker sort of tighter to my needle so that it doesn't slip over top of a stitch and then end up like knitted into your fabric yes yep that's Alice is laughing thief. at me because i can't <laughs> find the camera and then i also got these fish which Those is are so cute so cute and i think they only go up to a size four and a half or something too so they're quite tight to mm. your needle as well um and then the last thing that I got were these little birds. 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 <laughs> um, they, so in her shop, these were originally stitch markers. So they had a, a circle. They were attached to a circle. And then you can um, add the lobster claw upgrade to yeah. your cart as well. So that's what I did. So I got them put on as, um, put on lobster glass so that they um i can use them as progress keepers because i'm more like i like my stitch markers to be sort of compact and then i like to use progress keepers dangling things as progress <laughs> no keepers. i was gonna say um i may have gone on and made an order <laughs> no oh no i got the birds the birds <laughs> i love the birds i especially love this purple one yeah, on the side they're so happy the purple one with the blue belly yeah and the end, I like all of them. The end one's like almost like Neapolitan ice cream, but then he's got a blue, he's got a blue butt. But yeah, yeah, he's cute. And then she offers all different sizes of lobster claws, clasps, lobster clasps, mm -hmm. um, as well. So you can select. She offers quite large ones. So if you um, knit mostly like worsted weight stuff, then you could get a larger lobster claw to um oh to still fit on your needle mm, well no no so that it goes through the thicker yarn so you can oh, grab, grab the whole stitch okay, <laughs> okay. oh duh. <laughs> duh duh okay so yeah so i'm really really happy yeah and yeah, she also has um free shipping i think on stickers almost everything in her shop yeah and she sent stickers 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 so yeah that was a great little purchase because lately i can't find any stitch markers anywhere so i know i've been having a real a real tough time finding yeah. stitch markers i know they're they must be on projects is where they are <laughs> probably yeah <laughs> if yeah. i just go through my projects i'll find them eliminate some people then you'd be fine yeah Okay, so those were all of our acquisitions, mm -hmm. and now we're going to just show uh, just a few of the items that will be available in our update upcoming this Saturday, March 27th. It will be at 12 p.m. Eastern. I've been shown it, um, what we have left from our first voyage, first birthday slash anniversary um, extravaganza. extravaganza. So this is the first voyage um, solar sock set. So this is the one that Jessica is knitting the sock out of that she put the um, white stripe into the leg. So we have a couple left of these. And then we also have the, um, we did a, uh, I did a minis fade set. So based kind of inspired by um, the main color of the fabric that we used. So it's a little hard to see with the, with the light. <laughs> But um, in my hand with the ring on it, because <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's my left hand, but I don't know which part it is. That's the beginning of the um, thing here, and then it goes darker here. So it's a very, like, subtle fade, 
the speckles. So those two items are, um, there's still um, one or two available of each of those in the shop um, from our birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to show you um, a preview of s most of the tubes that are going to be available. We're missing like five-ish, six-ish. Um, this one is based off of my colorway Lavender Field. So it comes with a, um, this is a purple blur. Um, 50 gram skein and then it's this is the tube so it's I interpreted my um, lavender fields colorway onto the tube so there will obviously be much better pictures on YouTube and online or, on YouTube on, online yeah. on Instagram and then on the website when you go to purchase yes so um, that is that one. Do you want to show one while I roll? Sure. So this Lovely. one is, um, it comes with this green colorway, and it's an interpretation of the Gone Paddling colorway that um, we saw earlier in Allison's 5050 Socks said. So it's oh, just a lot of um, blues and greens, and then these kind of like, dark coral sections um pretty and yeah so they're all one of a kind and then your heels toes and cuffs would look like that very nice then our next one <laughs> is um my colorway beach please which has only really been available on our it was available on our super bulky yep mm -hmm. i think it's in a 50 50 set <laughs> So, okay. um, but anyways, it's a one of a new, it's a newer color. So here is the tube. Lots of like, um, kind of um, aqua -y green color, purples, oranges. Yeah. So it's very nice. And then it's paired with, to go along with the beach theme, a bright yellow. Sunny yellow. Sunny yellow. Um, 50 gram, 50 gram skin. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's a really nice, happy um, tube and yarn skein combo. Yeah. So I should say that all these tubes are 64 um, stitch count. Um, and they're roughly around 38 inches long. Mm -hmm. And the tubes are 100 grams. Yes. So... This one um, is based off of our colorway, which is also, also only available on Super Bulky so far, but it's called Phosphorescent. Phosphor, yeah, yeah Phosphorescent. And it's um, some greens and some purples and blues together. It's like it glows. Yeah, it's very, like, alien colorway. <clears throat> and then to go with it is a New Moon, which is our black. Very nice. I like so, that one. Thank you. It also kind of just looks like murky underwater kind of too. Yeah, like dark. Yeah, like dark a seaweed. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you want to throw that one in oh, there sure. too. Then we have um, this one. It was available the first time, so it is um, back. It is confetti, and it goes with um, encouragement, fifty gram skein. So it's um, a bunch of bright colors and it kind of just looks like confetti or like a birthday cake I think. Yeah. It's very happy. So this one is making a return. We have a few, the, our most popular colorways from last time are returning so we don't have it to show but are living in the moment um, that is paired with marble that's coming back. Our out and about that's paired with peony is coming back. Um, then my confetti and then also um, under the stars which is like a darker one with lots of color on the in color um, with golden yellow. That pairing is coming back. Um, is that it? I think we only brought back the four. Yeah. And then the rest are all brand new. Yeah. So they're either colors that are available on other bases and we've interpreted it onto our tubes or they're brand new and this is the first time um, the colorway has existed. Yeah. And it comes out on a tube. <laughs> so this is a new one that hasn't been done on anything and we're thinking of calling it I'm a wildflower 
Yeah. Right? Yep. So um, this one I love this is one super so gorgeous much. and um, just looks even better in person. And so it's got a lot lighter of a base, like a peachy pinky cream in some spots base. And then a whole ton of um, different color speckles. And so it has a really cool look to it and then it is paired with this is a new color unnamed <laughs> but it looks really nice together yeah <laughs> so this will be classified as i'm a wildflower um the the combo so this one's really fun i really like this one and then okay so this is um a sort of black and purple colorway that is unnamed so far it's just like super murky moody and moody um so then i thought because it's so dark it would be fun to do something really bright to yeah. go with it so that yeah. one's really fun i like that one that's nice too it's gonna be like a glowing pair of socks mm -hmm. then i did um an interpretation of my splash pad colorway um so it's another lighter one and it's got lots of yellows orange i like an aqua and pinks and then it is paired with pink experience so a neon pink yep so this one would be really i see i see 80s when i look at this <laughs> so i think it's really fun i think it's just yeah even 90s whatever it's like really fun like bright colors and it just says like summer i yeah. think like yeah tie-dye beach mm -hmm. colors like you're gonna Vacation go roller skating. Colors. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, so this is um the splash pad combo. And then our last combo that we can show today is uh I did um my colorway into the forest. I love this one. And so it came out as a um it's a little darker in person. It's very like I hate into to the say forest spooky vibes. <laughs> I hate to say moody again. Yes, it's very it's moody. It's very moody. And um, the other side. And then, so we did the same pairing that we did when we dyed it uh, for the um, Painted Pebble Shawl. So we paired it with um, Verdant. Verdant? Verdant. Verdant. So that's a really nice, woodsy, beautiful uh, combination. And we will have the... Painted Pebble Shawl version available? Yep, it'll be restocked mm -hmm. for the update. Yeah. Um, all the feels will be a Painted Pebble Shawl with all the feels kit. That will be restocked. The Out and About Painted Pebble Shawl will be restocked. Um, and then a couple new ones? And then a, f a few new ones. Mm -hmm. So the other tonals would be the ones that you saw for my test knit for uh, the color. Yep, I didn't color quadrant grab those top. out of the bin. Um, and so then these are uh, others as well. So we have Stardust and Encouragement. And then this. Uh, it does not have a name. It does not have a name yet. We're no, going to we figure that out by maybe by the time we put the YouTube video up. So we can put it on the screen. Okay, we'll try. And then this one also doesn't have a doesn't name. doesn't have a name. But it's like a. <laughs> it's like a dark, bright, very green. vibrant, like glows green. Yep. Yeah. And Starfish. Which, is that starfish or is that hibis? No, that's starfish. I think it's starfish. Yeah. There. So, and then, yeah, a bunch, a few other colors. So there'll be a few skeins of each color mm -hmm. um, in the shop. So and there'll be, uh, why didn't you crawl me back? Mm -hmm. Blue breeze, which is like a um, light royal blue. Oh, right, right, right. Yep. Um, then the cherry bomb. It. Oh, cherry bomb. High vis, luminescent. Tonka. Ta no Tonka. No Tonka. Golden yellow. Golden yellow. We were so happy to come back and film a mm -hmm. podcast episode again. And we're hoping to remain podcasting again this year more steady like we were um, last year. Yep. And especially maybe, during the summer. Maybe monthly. But yeah, we're going to vlogs. For, yeah, so with then, vlogs. And, um, yeah, hopefully you'll yeah. see progress on many of those projects I showed you <laughs> <laughs> like a little robot <laughs> and yeah so um 
please feel free to like and subscribe this video if you're not already subscribed to our channel and uh we will we are of course on instagram at full moon fibers and um you can come and hang out with us over there um we always have a lot going on over there we're pretty busy on instagram and yeah we're hoping to i'm gonna say it so that i hopefully start it i'm gonna start a newsletter soon yeah so i have to get that going if you would like to sign up for future <laughs> newsletters, you can sign up on our um, website uh, and our shop. At I think it's triple w at the very bottom of the screen, very right? bottom of the of the yeah. website. Yeah, on the first page. On the home page. Um, at triple w dot fullmoonfibers at dot ca. Yes, and then you can be on our newsletter list, and we are going to start sending those out. It'll probably be once a month, at the most twice a month, and um, it would just be like you know info for um, upcoming. Um, updates or what we're working on or collaborations we have or if we have like a new stockist we can alert you to them as well um so then maybe you can learn about a new store or if it's a store that's near you and okay. so this thank you so much for watching <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming back and watching our podcast mm -hmm. even though we've been gone for a little while we really appreciate it yeah uh, we've missed talking to you and filming it's um vlogging is fun but it's like not as fun as like sitting here and talking with jessica and talking to you and sharing our projects um, I always feel a little awkward when I'm vlogging. I feel a little less awkward when I'm podcasting. And so um, this has been very fun, and we hope you enjoyed our episode, and you have made it to this point to hear us say thank you. And um, we hope you are staying safe mm -hmm. and healthy and um, hanging in there. And we, yeah. Please leave us a comment below if you've been working on something that you're really enjoying or something, you know. Or if you just want to say hi. Yeah, if you want to say hi, that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, until next time, hopefully in a few weeks. And, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. As usual, we can't say goodbye. <laughs> we can't end the podcast ever. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>